traders and welcome to a new week of financial news. It's August the 8th and this is our London session report. Asian markets certainly started the week optimistically after Friday's US NFP report. The Nikkei closed 2.4% up, the Hang Seng 1.3 and Australia's S&P by 0.7%. A resulting weakness in the yen has pushed up Japanese export equities with Toyota up 2.8% and Nissan by 2.27%. Chinese exports, on the other hand, are showing losses in July, with exports down 4.4%, not as bad as in June, and the trade balance up to 52 billion US dollars. In the US, a second non-farm payrolls report in a row has exceeded expectations, raising once more projections for a 2016 interest rate hike. Participation rates also rose by a tenth, all of these in line with recent strong purchase manager indexes. On the other hand, weak GDP growth over the last nine months and fears of Brexit contagion have most FOMC members in a dovish to neutral mood. Currently, S&P futures are at 21.78 and rising, and dollar futures are also at quasi-green. Bucking the slowdown trend, UK consumer spending picked up last month. Retailers reportedly dropped to a four-year low, and with little data expected from the kingdom over the next few days, the pound continues to trend at the lower end of its consolidated region. Meanwhile, on the continent, relatively good earnings reports are pushing indexes higher, so long as banks are ignored. The latest bank to join the Euro group of worrisome institutions is the Royal Bank of Scotland, which lost 7.2% in, in share value. Italy's Medio Banca actually rose nearly 9% and the Eurostock 600's banking sector is showing a 2.2% recovery after last week's slump. In commodities, China oil, China oil imports dropped sharply due to the country's inability to process the glut it's been creating within its borders. After last week's storm, WTI seems steady at near $42 a barrel and Brent at 44 and a half. Gold has braked on its post-NHP drop from Friday and may be forming a double bottom at just under 1340. On the calendar today, the EU's Centix Investor Confidence Reading at 8.30 AM GMT. That's followed at 9 by Industrial Production and Consumer Price Indexes from Greece. And at 2 PM, Labor Market Conditions in the US. CPIs will be in from China at 1.30 tomorrow morning. That's all for now. Come back again later for our New York report and have a wonderful trading week.